Hello, Chef here. So today I'm making a braised beef stew with wild mushrooms and herbs. Uh, if you follow along, I'm going to show you how to uh, braise beef. It's not that difficult. Okay. So in this particular stew I'm making today, I'm going to look for a kind of a medium-sized dice. And we're going to go with uh, something like this. Okay, at this point you want to season the meat and to season the meat I'll be using some sea salt. This is pink sea salt from Hawaii. Very good stuff. I've got some herbs de province right here. Put that on as well. Maybe about a tablespoon. Okay. Uh, and some fresh ground black pepper. All these spices in there get it good and coated nice and then we're going to move along to some cornstarch you can use flour you can use cornstarch it's completely up to you I'll be back today I want to share with you something very special these are amazing dried morel mushrooms these ones come from Alaska wow look at those beauties so nice Organic, wild, they smell great. Wow, nice flavor. So I'm gonna show you how to reconstitute these. Just put a small amount in a bowl like this. Uh, maybe a few less. You don't need too many. Really, really an amazing mushroom. Uh, this right here is gonna work for me. Uh, you take the morels and cover them with some very hot water. Almost boiling water is good, just like this. Once they're covered, you don't need a lot of water. Once they're covered like this, put a lid on it. Put a lid on like this. Uh, some people use plastic wrap, that's fine. Some people use foil, that's fine. I hope you live long. I don't know. Uh, stainless steel, non-reactive, very safe material. Glass lid, you can't go wrong. So there's the morels reconstituted, ready to use for the recipe. By the way, you can score some of these morels at the sponsor. Wild picked, USA, super high quality. You can't go wrong with that right there. Yeah. This stew is going to get some onions. I got this large onion here. And I'm ready to start adding my, my, my beef. Uh, the beef has been lightly tossed in the uh, cornstarch, and you just want to brown the beef. Oh, man, that's looking good. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of Beer, you can use wine if you prefer. I'm using beer. Either way, this is my braising liquid, by the way. Okay? After the beer, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, some tomato product. Tomato product uh, can vary. You can use anything you like. In this particular case, I'm using tomato sauce, uh, ketchup sauce in there as well. low heat low to medium heat oh yeah look at that just a few at a time like this yeah looking good so here's the finished stew just plating some of this up. I wanted to share this with you. Uh, this stew's looking really, really good. And uh, like I told you earlier, there's morel mushrooms, big chunks of beef in there. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, uh, that's a generous serving right there. And what I'm going to do next is uh, garnish. 
and very simple here. I'm going to uh, put a couple of Brussels sprouts in here, uh, some up, some down, like this, okay, and uh, the last thing I like to put is always a little contrast. So here I have some fennel seed and uh, a little bit of uh, capers that just pair perfectly with a stew like this. Oh, yeah. A little bit of toasted garlic bread and olive oil with this. Highest quality at the lowest possible price.